My name is Jonathan and I'm from MSP Technology. Um, I'm going to go and give you a little overview of our two newest DACs. About two years ago, we developed the Select DAC and started shipping it. Uh, the Select DAC is different from our previous DACs and we developed a new DAC module called the Hybrid DAC module. This is a balanced DAC module that goes inside our DAC that is both native for PCM or can be native for DSD direct. So it is a discrete PCM and a discrete DSD DAC in the same module. When the format changes, we actually switch between the two formats. Um, in the select DAC, we use eight of these modules in parallel. And this gives us enough current on the output that we do not need a active output stage. We have no transformer. We have no op amps or transistors in the output stage. The output of our DAC is directly from the module straight to the connector. We do not have any active circuitry. So this is one of the first DACs that's ever shipped that does not have an output buffer of any kind. Uh, we were able to achieve this by having eight modules put into parallel. Um, it is also a very modular design. The output module is replaceable and every input is in its own module. So when you aren't using an input, that module is actually shut off and disabled, so you are not adding any noise into the box. Uh, we have USB inputs capable of MQA and 4X DSD. We have a new render interface that is a Rune endpoint and also does MQA decoding. We have XLR digital inputs, SPDIF inputs, and our Pro I2S interface for our transports. Um, today here at the show, we are introducing our reference DAC, and that is a scaled down version of our select DAC. It has four of our hybrid modules instead of the eight, and it has a scaled down version of the output module while using the same input modules as the select. Um, all of our DACs have external power supplies with multiple levels. You can have the standard dual supply power base, or you can upgrade to two mono power supplies. Um, each DAC, the select DAC and the reference DAC, have eight independent power supplies that go to it. Some power supplies are dedicated for the inputs and digital processing, and some are uh, I, I set aside for the analog input, if you were to use that in our output module, and for the clock and DAC modules. The analog side and digital side of our DACs are all isolated from each other with independent power supplies and grounds. Um, the reference DAC is brand new and will be shipping to the first customers in about one week. Uh, it has two versions of the output module. It has a standard output module, which includes volume control, as well as having the option to upgrade to a preamp module. The preamp module gives you an analog input and it also gives you our constant impedance passive volume control technology. So as you change the volume, the output impedance stays the same. And this is again done with no active circuitry in the signal path. In all of our DACs, uh, there are multiple clock options. Our base clock is the Femto 140. It has 140 uh, femtoseconds of jitter. The in-between clock is the Femto 77 with 77 femtoseconds of jitter. And then we have the Femto 33. Um, one thing that is unique about our clocks is there's actually two different clocks circuits in each module. There's one for the 44.1 kilohertz clock and there's one for the 48 kilohertz clock. Um, some of the main difference, other main differences between our select DAC and reference DAC is the chassis size. The select DAC is a little taller. It has a much larger display and the controls are on the top. Um, the reference DAC is a little shorter. It has a smaller display. The controls are on the front and we were able to bring the cost of the reference DAC way below that of the select. The select DAC retails for about 90,000 US and the reference stack starts at about 40,000 US. Um, both of them can go higher with options. Uh, we will also be releasing a new transport this year uh, to replace our universal media transport. It will be a new version based off of the new OPPO with 4K video, and it will match the chassis of the select and the reference stack. 
Um, we've been an MQA partner for about a year now. So all of our DACs do the native hardware decoding of MQA and not just the software-based version. And um, while here at the show, we are also showing with our M204 monoblocks. These are 200 watt monoblocks with a class A input and a class AB output stage. Uh, this amp has been shipping for about a year and is significantly no lower noise than our previous M203. And I think that's about it, so we can play some music. We just kept right. 